Hey everybody, welcome to Next Commentary playing Corky Midlane against Zoe this game. Uh, this Corky build that I've been doing uh, with the Muramana into Ravenous feels really good. I am I have like an 80% win ratio in like 15 games. So it feels amazing. Uh, it actually does really good even inside of high elo, so... Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Zoe should be a pretty difficult matchup for this, though, because she can... In my opinion, she can just kind of run past uh, any harass that I do and just ignite me and fight me, and I'm pretty sure she should win. So, um, level 1 through 4 should be entirely Zoe-favored. I don't think there should be any opportunity for me to be able to beat her in a 1v1. But if we can get past that, make it to level 6, that's when the game becomes much easier because you can just farm from 10 miles away. They do have two people to run you down, so that's going to be a little bit annoying for me. So package is going to be huge. And, um, yeah. Devil Lux. I almost wish... I, I like having Leona on my team more than Lux. Normally it just does better, but it is what it is. She is looking, so I'm just playing kind of far back here. Don't want to get hit by her. The best thing I can do is just only take a little bit of poke. Don't want to get low. I went for not corrupting potion. Normally I take corrupting potion versus champions that have a lot of early game harass rather than tier, but I played versus Zoe already in, as core key and I feel, I guess, confident that I can play it correctly and not have to burn anything. Going W, just in case I get ganked. And then we can put down, like, a nice ward over here. That will last a while, so we can play towards that side of the map. It's not like we did any poke versus this guy, so unfortunately the matchup is still like entirely in her favor, right? Because she didn't even use a single potion. Oh, no way. I thought that cannon was actually hitting something else. Shouldn't have missed that. Oh well. I'm trying to stay behind my creep, so if she tries to go for me that uh, I don't get bubbled or anything. I tried playing so many Corky games on my Grandmaster account and wasn't able to do it, so this account is like Diamond. Because uh, I'm just trying to get a video at this point, and there's been too many stomps. Like, I just, my team will just win, and then it's just complete waste of a video, in my opinion. I hate it. When my team wins too hard... Uh, not really feeling threatened by any of these bubbles so far, so we're doing good. We are doing just fine. I'm just going to pop one of my potions now, just in case she tries to, like, go really hard. And try to, like, ignite me and stuff. Okay, nice. I didn't think I was going to get that creep, so... Just using my Q on it. We're not trying to kill her or anything. We're just trying to... Have a good time CSing. So... This wave is too big for her to also trim, so... I'll just back right after this. And we're good to go. First purchase, pretty solid. There's no way she probably tries to shove out the next wave. Really? But she has no mana. I don't even think I need to rotate, or TP I mean, to get back here. I just can run. 
I might be able to even catch the wave and maybe freeze it as well. Just trim it a little bit. Yeah, we're good. This really sucks for her. She's going to miss an entire wave. <clears throat> Including cannon, too. She probably should have based rather than trying to shove out that next wave because this is really poor. Uh, she might be able to get back for this cannon. Cannon takes a long time to kill, so it's really tanky. Depends on if she rushed level 2 boots or not. Yeah, she didn't get it. Okay, cool. She took a turret shot. I'm probably going to have to TP back eventually because she does have Corrupting Potion, I don't. So if I take a little bit of poke, I can just die. Okay, Leona's mid. There is a Rengar topside as well. Wow, that bubble went way further than I thought. Thought it wasn't e wasn't even gonna be close there. Okay, they both died top lane as well. Not looking hot, but that's okay. Because now the game can be more interesting, not just a hard stomp. What? That landed? Oh man, I should have not gotten hit by that. Dude, my auto attack didn't kill her there. That's so unfortunate. Alright. That was really close, though. Got literally everything, including Rengar Flash. She must have healed from something, because my auto attack looked like it was channeling to go off. That was really odd. Now, what can I do with this? It might be best to try to kill Rengar. I mean, Zoe is also flashless, though. As long as they don't get bubbled, she should die as well. Rengar is just chilling mid lane. here too. Thank god she didn't ulti me by the way. If Leona ulti there I might have died. <sighs> big damage, big damage. Nice. We denied one of her balloons. Okay, so she's not here. I'm guessing Rengar ultied bot lane since they just died.
Thank you very much, Fiora, for the assistance. She was flashless, so there was no way for her to escape Fiora. That's why she portal jumped over the wall, just to try to stall time, because running in a straight line away was never going to save her in that scenario. Hmm. No, why are you not fighting this guy, though? Wait, I thought you had him. Like, I felt so confident my teammate getting that guy that I just didn't do anything. No way, dude. This guy should have kept fighting, but it's understandable. Not everybody's going to play perfectly here. Because if you flash forward, I just figure that you had him. Oh well. I was trying to spread the wealth. He has no kills, so... Would have been nice for him. God, that was a juicy kill too. Oh well. Oh, that would have been a nice Rengar kill. Alright, well... We're still pretty strong, and we're just working towards our power spike, which is just finishing this item. We're, we're already strong with AD-wise. If she didn't have Yomu's there, I maybe could have chased her down. Whoa. This guy's like hard looking for me, so that's why I'm playing super slow. I can't. I can't help. She's just going too deep. Yeah, like that was just not good. I'm just gonna flash. Not gonna get Tristana ultied here. I knew that Zoe would try to do it like a Q play with like flasher R, so that's why she was looking for a Q this way as I was running away, so I sidestepped upwards knowing that that's probably not where she's throwing it. This is still pretty big for us though. Got a lot of good kills once again. Even though Graves is unfortunately struggling because he didn't get any of the shutdowns. Level 11 would also be huge for us. Maybe get a plating. The thing is, everybody's playing so far back. Get it. Trying to get him like to be inside of my package, but it just didn't work. Damn it, dude. Yeah, I it was a bad angle. It would have worked if I did it this way and then went immediately away. So it's honestly just mechanical error on my part. I'm pretty sure the play was correct. Cause after you use package, your W still up, so you can use it twice. Uh, I guess I should mention that if you've never played Corky before, so you can actually do W twice there. I definitely mess up somewhere. Because I should probably be touching Rengar with the package, which would slow him down significantly, making it very easy for me to survive, most likely.
All right, we're really close to finishing our mirror mana, which will obviously be really big. Our damage will skyrocket now. Huge damage to that guy. Got 48 gold for that too. Very solid stuff. Rengar maybe will ulti me. I wonder if he can just 100 to zero me. Oh, wow. She just used R forward there, so I can just hit her with that. I have level 11 now. Okay, huge hit. Okay, Rengar's top side, so we're good mid. Oh. Just kill her. As soon as she portals forward, I can just throw my rocket back at her uh, last portal. And I got one auto attack off. And it was a big one, so it does a lot of damage. Okay, Rengar... I hope used ult on my graves. If he didn't, it's risky to step up. Okay, my goodness. That guy literally ran straight at my face. But I, I also deal a billion damage as well. I didn't know if he was going to try to snare me or not. That's what I was kind of waiting for, but he just didn't, I guess. Alright, so sometimes I like buying Dark Seal just because the Dark Seal will obviously allow me to get a bit more AP if I continue getting fed. So. And we're at a very strong point in the game. Level 11, these two items, this is a big spike for us. And it doesn't kind of slow down. You you don't have to like win the game now. You can still like scale, but this is probably the biggest point in the game for... Uh, her early game at least. I might die here. She might ignite plus Kia. Oh, maybe not. Okay, killed one. Nice stun. I'll help with this guy as well. Yeah, I'm coming for the Tristana now. Whoa, hate's a pretty strong word. Don't have to use anything, just can use Q. 72 gold from that, by the way. It's huge. Yeah. No, but like, I don't know. I feel like more people are going to start playing this, I swear. And it might even get nerfed, because it honestly feels... Even though sometimes it doesn't feel like super OP, sometimes it feels kind of OP, but like... It seems very consistent with, and I think more people are going to win than not. So normally win rate kind of can determine whether they're going to do a small nerf. I don't know if they would nerf the items or Corky though. All right, I have package here and they might not be focusing to be honest. A lot of times inside of fights, they just don't focus enough, so. Might build a loop on these guys. And maybe go for a kill. I could be walking over vision though. We're just playing the kiting game right now. I'm just gonna jump backwards in case she'll look. I miss a lot of stuff, so it's my fault. It's like trying to play the kiting game, but honestly, it kind of failed. Killed her as well. This is the ultimate hunter gap. I'm pretty sure how ultimate hunter works is not only does it recharge, but it also allows you to shoot faster, which is kind of big. So I can spam my rockets more because this is a rocket build, right? So being able to spam it over and over again is extremely valuable. Damn, I was really hoping that he would go for that there. What? This guy really just jumped in like that. Okay, well, my teammates will die, but... I 
I have so much money. Should probably buy a Ludens. Okay, well that guy didn't ult. Oh. She's dead. Nice. Yeah, if we got into team fights, by the way, the way that I play it, I mean, throw out to hit your rockets, but the the one that's important is just the big one. And you can kind of cycle through your rockets, just throw out ones and don't care if it lands, but just only hit the big one. That's pretty effective as well. Like right now, I'm like only looking to hit the big one, right? So... You can kind of cycle through it. You don't need to worry about the little rockets. Of course, if somebody's running on you, you, you can't be missing, but I'm talking about when they're really far away. The big one goes further, and it's bigger, and has bigger explosion radius, so that's why you use it on creeps to do the harass. You don't need to throw it on the person. You can just throw it on things that are nearby. Wait, that actually stunned me. I'm just gonna die here. There's no way out. I can at least trade one for one. The Lux is pretty far away too, so she couldn't really help me. Uh, I'm probably gonna go for Shadow Flame. There's a lot of different variants of this build. You can go a lot of different things. Um, you can also go for uh, uh, Death Dance if your versus like I could go Death Dance this game, and it will still give you a lot of rocket damage, and it has CDR, so like. CDR plus AD, extremely valuable, right? But I kind of like the Shadow Flame. Make it so I deal basically true damage to people. And also gives a lot of AP still. Because the AP ratio is okay. It's not, it's not perfect, but... It's still something. Okay, we get Baron here. And also, I gotta be getting the Baron buff as well, which is pretty nice. In fact, I'm just gonna go get my package... I'm also going to buy a red pot. No, yeah, I'll buy red pot. The thing is with red pot is it only heals you for physical damage, so it actually doesn't heal me for my rockets. But it does, I think, give more damage, though, than blue pot. So the trade-off is you lose healing. But I guess you buy blue pot for the same reason, so it doesn't really matter. Just building it for damage in the first place, right? No, I killed him though. I did kill him. The exhaust is so annoying. I mean, I'm kind of like doing some really ballsy stuff with these packages, so probably shouldn't have done that. It's all right though. Fiora? Oh, dang. Didn't get her. Oh, okay. When is Dragon? Two minutes? What? Nice. I didn't think he was gonna actually get that guy there. Also, like, I'm kind of testing. I don't know how Drowsy works with Package. It looks like Package actually makes it so you can't be CC'd. Like, sometimes there's things where you can uh, get CC'd at the end of it. So that's what I thought was gonna happen. But actually, I, I was not... Uh, I did not fall asleep, so rocket, or I mean your package actually makes it so you're invulnerable to the, the drowsy at the end. So that's actually really good to know. I guess I should probably hopefully get into a scenario where it actually is like a more realistic team fight where like when dragon is up and they're going to walk in, all you need to do is just throw a couple abilities and you'll see how much like how difficult it is to like walk towards a core key. They can't really play off of the rockets be like, oh, his rockets are down, because they're always coming back up with Ultimate Hunter. And now I'm level 16 as well, which is uh, even bigger. God damn it, dude, my team's winning. Uh, how am I supposed to show off anything, dude? When my team's just winning this hard, I'm going to sell this Dark Seal.
<clears throat> I like two shot that guy. Oh, my team's just winning again. Gosh darn it, man. I'll just group rather than do blue. Unless we're doing dragon, and then I'm just wasting my time. No, it looks like we're not. Oh, big hit onto that guy. Well, that did some pretty crazy damage there. Oh, I actually killed Zoe there. I almost one-shot the Tristana with a one rocket. Yeah. Pretty insane. <laughs> uh, I'll just kill this trend. Hey, Trinomir. He's dead. Okay, let's go grab the blue buff. Like, we're not even... Like, if you look at the items, I'm fed, for sure. But I feel like I'm not, like, really, really, really fed. So the damage seems just absolutely cra crazy. For how fed I am. Oh my gosh, imagine if that landed. That would have done some juicy damage. I just finished my Shadow Flame, too. Oh? Yo, yo. Oh man, I don't think my team was paying attention there. Jin was like running away or something. Oh no, careful guys. Let's buy a Zhonya's. You can build anything with this comp. I can go, or a GA is probably better, actually. My death timer is too long, I can't help. Sadly. So, I do have TP and package up, so it would have been like super sick to help right now, but I just can't. Alright, got him. This time you don't have flash, so fuck you. <laughs> that guy had flash last time and that's why he killed me, because when I jumped away, he just, yeah, he killed me with his flash. Not this time, dude, not this time. Oh, I could probably run there. Uh, there's like, It's not even up, so there's no reason to TP or anything. I just generated so much gold, by the way, from that fight. I didn't see how much I actually generated, but I think it was a lot. Okay, we should be on it right away, because they respawn really quickly. Like, we could have been hitting it instead of doing blue there. I think a little bit earlier, but... Maybe we're... Yeah, we're fine still. I mean, Rengar, is, I guess, isn't up. Also, we're doing this much faster than I would expect. Thought it was not going to be this quick. Oh, we're chasing them down. Alright, maybe I can just rocket them a little bit. Ooh, that did 500 damage. And that was to Leona, too. Who's gonna TP in here? And just kill that guy, just two hits. Oh, if that landed, it might have killed. Might have killed. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary on the Corky. I really think it's strong. You should definitely try it out yourself. It's super good. Wow, how did that not catch that guy there? Oh, I thought that he was going to jump on me, but he didn't. Oh, it's so hard to land these rockets. She's just sidestepping. 
Oh, there we go. Hit one. Okay, I hit her with one rocket. <laughs> so once again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it helps you out inside of your games. Very simple to play. You only have to worry about the early game inside most matchups. Once you're six, you can just farm from 10 miles away. All you're trying to do is just reach that two item power spike. And then from there, it just takes off. Um, very powerful build. And I, I honestly, when I first saw this build, I was literally like, I, I was streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv slash peekamwolf. And it, I was just like, it doesn't sound good. It actually doesn't. Why not just go AD Corky? Just sounds better. AD Corky rockets still deal a lot. And I think it's just because the penetration just makes it even better. So it, on paper, it sounds like Crit Corky should be better. Just try it out. It feels good. It does. So highly recommend. So damage dealt, absolutely humongous. Uh, I'm higher than this elo, it's just, yeah. This is mid-diamond, you can see the di diamond 3 player, so. Versus diamond 3 mid laner, was able to do a lot of stuff. Very powerful. Uh, yeah, even good inside high elo. So, highly recommend it. If you like it, if you won with it, if you're impressed, if you just like my videos, drop a like on the video, and I'll see you guys next time.